Today I will talk about Bayesian networks. This is part of my series of lectures on cause and effect modeling. This is my lecture outline. First I will give introduction to Bayesian networks. Then I will provide Python codes. First one with structure from data. Then Python codes to structure and parameters from expert opinion. Then Python code 3 structure from expert opinion and parameters from data. So this is a basic uh, example of a Bayesian network. The underlying data behind this Bayesian network have these variables, pollution, smoker, cancer, x-ray and dyspnea. So there are these five underlying variables and these are nodes each variable is depicted as a node and relation between variables is depicted as edges which are usually directed in Bayesian network and each node has an associated probability. The independent nodes have margin probability and the child nodes have conditional probability. So a Bayesian network is a probabilistic graphical model that represents a set of variables and their conditional dependencies via a directed acyclic graph. It is also known as Bayes network, Bayes net, belief network, decision network. So what is directed acyclic graph? In graph theory and computer science, a DAG consists of vertices and edges with each edge directed from one vertex to another such that following those directions will never form a closed loop. So it is acyclic, so there will be no loop. Bayesian networks are a marriage between probability theory and graphs. One of the main goals in Bayesian network is prediction. Bayes theorem plays a crucial part in this connection. Bayesian network has structure and parameters. Structure is in the form of directed acyclic graph which has node and edges and parameters are nothing but marginal probabilities and conditional probabilities. So this is the structure of a Bayesian network as we have seen before. It has node and edges. This is the Bayesian network with marginal probabilities and conditional probabilities. So how to generate a Bayesian network? How to generate structure of Bayesian network? We have two options. One is expert opinion. The other is identification of structure from data. This is also known as causal discovery. Then parameters. We can generate parameters either from expert opinion or from data. From data, we can identify the parameters by using maximum likelihood estimation and Bayesian estimation. So querying the Bayesian model for information, we can do inference query, which is by these three options, variable elimination query, maximum a posteriori query or MAP query, and trophy query. Then we can also check for conditional independence. Then Python codes one that is structure from data. We can identify the structure of a Bayesian network from data. This is nothing but causal discovery. And I have a full fledged lecture on causal discovery on my YouTube channel. Then Python codes two structure and parameters both from expert opinion. So this 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 is the code. These are the libraries. So I will be using the package pgmpy throughout my this lecture. So first of all, we import Bayesian network and we can either import Bayesian model or Bayesian network. Bayesian model is the ancient one and Bayesian network is the recent one. So I will be using Bayesian network. Then uh, we need to import tabular CPD, conditional probability distribution because we will feed the conditional probabilities from expert opinion to our Bayesian model. Then we will uh, get the information from the Bayesian model by using variable elimination inference. And these are the libraries for graphical representation. So this is the structure of our Bayesian model. 
so these are the directed edges so direction is from pollution to cancer from smoker to cancer from cancer to x-ray and from cancer to dyspnea this is how we define the structure of a bayesian network then this is the graph of a bayesian network uh, so we have these initial variables smoker and pollution which causes cancer and cancer result in alterations in the x-ray and uh, presentation of symptoms such as dyspnea so this is the directed acyclic graph of our model then these are the conditional probabilities of our initial variables pollution and smokers since these are independent variables or initial variables they don't have parents so this probability is nothing but marginal probability and we feed these probabilities as such and some of these probabilities should be one then this is the condition probability distribution of our node cancer and cancer has two parents or two evidences pollution and smoker and the pollution have two uh, cardinality and smoker have two cardinality and our variable cancer also have two cardinality so this is our uh, probabilities or condition probabilities as we have obtained from expert opinion and we feed this to our bayesian network model and these are the condition probabilities for variable x-ray and for variable dyspnea so this is how we add the condition probabilities to our model and we check the model for the validity of probabilities that is the sum of probabilities should be one and it is true in our case and this is how we uh, infer from the model so overall probability of cancer is 0.98 and no cancer is 0.01 and uh, probability of cancer given the evidence as low pollution and no smoker so probability of cancer is 0.001 it is very less whereas the probability of cancer when pollution is high and smoking is yes so probability is higher it is 0.05 then probability of cancer when pollution is low and smoking is yes so this is the probability 0.03 then uh, probability of alteration in x-ray abnormal x-ray when pollution is high and smoker is yes so this is the probability 0.2350 then uh, probability of dyspnea uh, present when pollution is high smoking is yes is 0.2350 3 1 so this is how we get inference from our model now python course 3 uh, when we provide structure from expert opinion and we derive parameters from the data so these are the libraries as we have seen i will use bayesian network from bgmpy package and we will use bayesian estimator for estimation of our conditional probability distribution so this is our data this is actual data from a blood bank where there are daily donations this is a 8 uh, day data so these are the daily donations blood donations and these are daily blood issues and these are blood issues to various departments so blood has been issued to orthopedic department surgery department or the any department medicine department and pediatric departments since the bayesian network need discrete variables and these are continuous variables we need to make these continuous variables as discrete variables so i have done the coding of these variables a means lesser donation lesser issue b means moderate issue c means higher issue and uh, d is also possible this is extremely high issue d and e so these these are the discrete versions of our variables which we feed in our bayesian network since these two variables orthopedic department and surgery department blood issues there is no variation in these so i will omit these variables from my bayesian network because there is no uncertainty in these variables and bayesian network is based on uncertainties we infer from uncertainties so this is how we define bayesian network this is on the basis of expert opinion and this is the drawing of our bayesian network so these donations depend on the blood issued 
and blood issued depend on blood issued to pediatrics or gynae and medicine department so this is our network basian network so this is how we uh, estimate the condition probabilities using bayesian estimator of the package pgm pi and uh, these are basically these notes medicine of skyne pediatrics these are initial notes they don't have parents so their probabilities are known as marginal probabilities so these are marginal probabilities as obtained from the data this is the condition probability of our node issue issue has three parents medicine of skyne and pediatrics so these are various combinations of the parents and these are the probabilities or condition probabilities this is the condition probability table of our variable donation and donation has only one variable that is total issues so this is the condition probability distribution so this is the inference so probability of total issues given the evidence that obsgyne has issued lesser blood so these are the probabilities uh, this is the probability of total issues given that obsgyne department has issued moderate blood so these are the probabilities then this is the probability of total issue given the evidence that obsgyne department has moderate issue and medicine department has uh, marked issue similarly this these are the various probabilities so this is the probability of our outcome variable final variable donation and given the evidence of the obsgyne moderate issue total issues as extreme and pediatric issues as extreme so these are the probability so doshi donations will be uh, more when such evidence is there so this is all for today thank you very much